What's up, everybody? It's your guy, DJ OG1, here in the X-Ray studio. And I have a special guest with me today. We're going to uh, talk some behind the scene before she makes her debut on the Groove Theory Mix Show. She goes by the name of Brianna Piedra, right? That is my name. My artist name is Bree. <laughs> and her artist name is Bree, so I want to make sure I get that correct. <laughs> So, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you for coming. I mean, it's been a crazy day. We, we both had to get through traffic and everything. And uh, I don't know if it's an accident as uh, Friday the 13th. Maybe that's why we were having some oh, drama yeah. going on. Oh, and I was yeah. like, man, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Everybody's driving extra slow, and I was like, "Don't y'all know I have an inter interview with Bree?" I know it they didn't not. understand that <laughs> they were supposed to move over like the ambulance when the ambulance or, or the police coming. They supposed to move over like OG is coming do the interview with Bree. <laughs> so y'all need to make way. So no, thank you for coming in and uh, having this interview with me. Of course, I'm happy to be here. Like I said, I'm excited. This is my first one. <laughs> right. So so yes. So I, I'm feeling extra on it right now. And so just for the listeners uh, that are listening or, or viewing uh, the video, uh, me and Bree first met years ago, years ago. And at the time, I didn't know she was doing music at the time, but we met through mutual uh, friends uh, years ago. And so it's been some years before, uh, since I've actually seen you. And so I just happened to uh, run across your music. And I was like, wait a minute. That's that's Brie? Like, wait a minute. And I'm listening, you know, and I was just because I knew you modeled. Yeah. I knew yeah. you modeled, but I didn't know you were singing. Yeah. And so I was pleasantly surprised. So I, <laughs> So for those that don't know. Bree is a model. She's also a singer, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Any any other titles? Any other things you got you doing? <laughs> Songwriter. I, I write my music. Super. But... <laughs> She's a triple threat. Triple threat, you guys. So y'all better know. And we're gonna get to know a little bit more about Bree. So tell me, uh, what came first, the modeling or the music? Honestly, music. I would say. Um, as far as just, I've been doing music forever. I feel like I was always singing. My mom actually always called me Birdie growing up because I was ah, a little songbird. Shout so. out to mom. <laughs> shout out to mom. Um, so that was my nickname. She calls me Birdie. But um, I'd say I started writing music actually when I was 11. So okay. just kind of poetry and turning it into little melodies, getting my family excited. Like, ooh, look what I wrote. Come wow. check it out. She excited <laughs> now. Just it. taking her back down memory lane right now. I know. <laughs> but um, I'd say I started modeling more in like high school. But I also started actually recording. But it wasn't so much my own stuff. It was more yeah. like working with other rappers. I do hooks, and, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. Right. Um, I'd say about two years ago is when I actually started pushing my own music out okay. and recording. So modeling came first in the sense of that's kind of how I built a little bit more of my following. Okay. Um, so right now I'm kind of just gravitating towards being an artist, a singer, songwriter. I, I love the modeling, but I, I'm kind of like, I want to okay. be known as an artist. Okay. But, but the modeling yeah. doesn't hurt. Yeah, it, right. It's, it's it nice helps. to have the branding with that. Right, right. And yeah, so yeah. for me, I know, uh, again, once I, I start listening to your music, I was just like, wow, this is, this is dope. And then I started thinking, I was like, okay, because again, I knew that you modeled. And so I was like, man, I, I'd be interested to find out like what has been the biggest challenges for you because you modeled and, and you obviously are a beautiful young lady. Um, but I was wondering, you know, what has been the biggest challenge for you uh, making some of the transition in terms of, OK, now I'm getting ready to get really I'm about to really dig in with this music. What has been some of the biggest challenges? Right. I think for me, which maybe a lot of people can relate to, is I had a lot of fear 
with modeling, you know, you don't really have to talk. You don't have to do much. It's just like photos or like little videos. Um, it's in a sense, you're kind of not being yourself, or at least that's what it was for me. So it was a little bit easier as far as, you know, becoming an artist and being more vulnerable, kind of putting my own story out there. Um, in high school, I kind of got a little backlash, you know, for doing music and stuff. And Why was that? <laughs> I don't know. So, 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 okay, keep it 100. So, is yeah. it that, because cause in my mind, I thought, okay, she's beautiful. So, and she models. So, people, that's like part of your brand. So, when people see you trying to sing now, or I, I mean, let me take that back, trying to sing. I'm saying that you started singing. Right, yeah. That people kind of wanted to keep you in. No, you're not supposed to sing, you're just a model. <laughs> Yeah, was that? I, I don't know. You know, high school I think is just tough, especially like graffiti. High school uh, is brutal. I had a I had a hard time, but you know, family and friends, I kept them close and got through it. But I have a lot of you know happy moments in high school. And, but I'd say transitioning into my music, it was more so a battle with myself of you know having like that stuff in the back of my head. Oh, you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. or those kinds of things. Because I did battle with that. I had. People are like, oh, you're not that good of a singer, or oh, your music's not good, whatever it is. Wow. Yeah. So kind of just modeling was easy. It was kind of, it was a little bit of an escape, and I didn't get so much backlash. I actually, you know, a lot of people really liked it. Right. Um, and then transitioning into my music, it was, I, I'd say I took a break, obviously, because I stopped doing music after high school, and then I hit about 19. And honestly, actually, you know, Kevin, boyfriend, he shout out really, to the boyfriend, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> he really pushed me back into my music because um, I kind of showed him. He actually does music too, and um, it's like you know what you have is really special. You need to, you know, forget what they say. Like it doesn't matter, do you? So yeah, um, forget the doubters, exactly. right, Kev? <laughs> right, Kev? Forget the doubters. <laughs> So I was, and writing, honestly, I love to write. I love to write music. I'm always, I was always creating, even though I wasn't putting it out. Right. <laughs> I just kind of kept it to myself. And um, I'd say about two years ago, you know, linking up with Cisco, I actually met him in the same crowd. Okay. You know, right. I met Cisco you is the producer, right? <laughs> yeah, he goes by The Sound. So shout the out sound? to him. He's done the sound? a lot of my, yeah, The Sound. The Sound. The sound. <laughs> Yes. Um, linked with him and you know we just kind of started creating and at that point I was like you know this is what I love to do I don't care what anyone thinks anymore and I'm just gonna put it out there and that's just why I guess I don't know modeling like I said it kind of goes hand in hand with the music thing so it's not like I don't do it I actually had a photo shoot yesterday but I'm not doing it to be known as a model right. I, I'm doing it to use it towards you know putting out content music right. or stuff like that but, but i think yeah. you know what i th honestly and i'm just giving you this this advice you can like forget your og i ain't trying to hear <laughs> it or not but i'm going to tell you don't be afraid to use to the god-given tools that you've been given you've right. been given obviously a look you've been given a voice so don't don't hesitate and feel like oh well, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, leverage my, my modeling or I'm not going to leverage my, my singing. Those are your powers. Right, right. You see what I mean? So don't yeah. hesitate. If you use your modeling to, to help <laughs> brand your music more, guess what? So what? Right. That's yours. It ain't like you faking it. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? You're not lip syncing like, okay, somebody else <laughs> is singing your music. So no, that is really you. So right. don't be afraid to use that and leverage that to get to where you want to get to. Yeah. It's just your tools. Now, like people going to always have something to say. Right. I mean, even if you... People say stuff about Beyonce. <laughs> it's true, the queen. You see what I mean? <laughs> they say stuff about her. So you're never going to get around that stuff. So just, you know, dial in and be confident in, in what you're doing. So you brought up Kev. I'm put Kev on the spot. <laughs> he goes by DV8. Okay, he goes DV8? Yeah, that's DV8. DV8. <laughs> he's on the track. He's on he one is. of the tracks, he's right? On two of my tracks. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, I've got some DV8. DV8 <laughs> got some skills. He got some skills. So yeah. speaking, how has that been? You know, relationship wise, as it relates to got modeling, you got uh, you got your singing and stuff like that. I know 
being in the industry for <laughs> over 30 years, I'm dating myself, and that's okay. I'm an OG. That's why my name is OG. <laughs> um, that tends to be a point of, uh, of tension with yeah. a lot of artists. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'd say for the most part, um, you know, we just try and support each other and I want to see him put out more music, but that's a different oh, story. Oh, she's putting so. pressure on you. <laughs> she's putting pressure um, on you. <laughs> but we definitely have gone through struggles, you know, a, a lot with the modeling mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. You know, guys don't, the girls put themselves out there. Right, like that. right. <laughs> Understandable. So just that kind of power struggle, but at the end of the day, we have love for each other and we want to see each other succeed. So, you know, we trust each other and we know that no matter what, we have each other's back and we just whatever obstacle comes up next, we push through it. And you know, there's been times where we had our little split ups and <laughs> no, Kev, <laughs> a Kev, little bit along Kev, the way. <laughs> Kev, I need you on some act like, bro. <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, yeah. I mean, for the most part, we just keep coming back together. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what was meant to be was meant to be. Right. And I always, you know, uh, part of some of these interviews, I uh, I like to use again because we can talk about the music and some of the the obvious things that go on. And like I was telling you off uh, before we start recording, that I like to talk to artists uh, because there'll be people that follow you. There'll right. be young ladies that follow you. And there's a tendency a lot of times to for people to feel like, oh, she don't have any. She's just pretty. She can sing. So she don't have no issues. She don't have no struggles. She don't have conflicts with relationships and none of that kind of stuff. And I think it's uh, I think it, it, it's it becomes real when people uh, see how genuine you are and that. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I'm doing these things, but I got. I got struggles too that I have to get through <laughs> and model and continue to sing and right. build my relationship right. and stuff like that. So first of all, I applaud you and Kevin uh, just for working through it. And, and I thank you for being transparent yeah. with that uh, too. Cause a lot of times people don't want to say stuff. It ain't about telling all your business, but right, it right. is about being organic. And uh, I think it's very important for any relationship, particularly in the music in the entertainment industry <laughs> yeah. that you have a solid foundation that trust is at the very, very foundation of, of your relationship. Everything else, you're going to grow because right. you, you guys are still young yeah. and stuff. And it'll be other times where stuff will come up. But I think if at the very foundation, if you guys have decided that she's it for me, he's <laughs> it for me. Right. We'll get through everything else. Yeah. You know, I always tell uh, people that converse, the conversation is the relationship. Right. So as long as you're communicating with each other, then you can continue to build. The moment you stop communicating, yeah, exactly. it's, a, it's like a slow <laughs> leak. Yeah. And it's you know, like, it took us it took us a lot to kind of get to of, you know, trust. I mean, it, it could be a hard thing, especially when you're growing up with someone like we met when I was 18 like I hadn't even graduated high you school. You still yet. look eighteen. <laughs> you still look really? eighteen. She make man. <laughs> like yeah, like I you know, twenty years I ago I put was my eight, age out you know, there. <laughs> <laughs> she still look eighteen. <laughs> you <laughs> look like a baby. <laughs> but, um, we've definitely had a lot of girls, you know, just going through that, you know, kind of young adult, kind of even childlike because you know you're still a child in high mm -hmm. school um, just you know a lot of dumb fights over the way and yeah jealousy yeah um, i can be a little jealous you, wait, wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> oh see now she's telling on herself Kev. she's telling on herself but i will say i don't know how he puts up with me sometimes <laughs> i do i do um but no i mean it's taken it's taken a lot because jealousy isn't good in any type of relationship right. so right don't do it it's bad and um i feel like i was really lost honestly until i started doing my music and it was that kind of struggle where like once i found like hey this is what i'm passionate about this is what i want to do it's kind of just like what i'm mostly focused on which can be hard too mm -hmm. in relationships it's mm -hmm. like i want attention too and i'm like right. I, I have like so much i have to put into this right. um but we're kind of at the point where it's like you know, we know we're always going to be together. We're going to be there for each other. And 
you know, he's going to do what he needs to do and I'm going to do what I need to do. And it's that power couple thing where, you know, we're going to make it and we're going to come together and it's just going to be like, you know, we're going to both be happy, both be doing it. And I think that's what's most important. That's just dope. Supporting each other through it. Yeah, that's dope. So I've been married 29 years. Wow. 29 years. That's and, impressive. um, I, I, yeah, I know the, the, the transitions and the conflicts that can come up as it relates to time. Uh, my wife, I enjoy being around my wife. Anytime I can be around her and uh, I'm not one of those guys that's like, dang, I can't wait to get away from home and go have some fun. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, I'm not one of those guys. Uh, but one thing I, I had to learn as a man, and, and if this helped Kevin, uh, and you um, and I coach I coach a lot of artists and athletes uh, I have a company called Leadertainment and, oh, wow. and I coach uh, a lot of uh, entertainers and athletes as it relates to real life things that um, happen so it doesn't interrupt the talent part right. of what they bring to the table and I always tell people that you want the best version of each other right exactly. you want the best version of, you, of each other so if Music and, and, and modeling is part of who you are. Okay. Your partner has to be able to let you fulfill that and, and go after that because if not, then at some point you'll start being resentful. Right. You see what I mean? And exactly. a lot of times women tend to uh, shut down and sacrifice everything about them for men. And I, you know, <laughs> and, you know, and, yeah, there's some compromising that you have in any relationship, but never to sacrifice yourself. But I say the same thing for men. Right. You know, he yeah. has, you know, Kev, Kev has to be the best version of him. So whatever it is, he's passionate and and, and uh, wants to do, he has to be able to be able to fulfill that. Because if he's fulfilled, guess what he brings to the table? Yeah. Brings to you fulfillment, vice versa. You're the, doing the best thing you're doing. You're happy. You bring that happiness to the table. Right. Never forget that yeah. as you're continuing because you're still going to grow. <laughs> exactly. And again, continue to communicate through everything you guys go through. Don't don't assume about each other. Always you know, uh, be open and transparent in your conversation. Y'all going to be all right. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. He's a good one. <laughs> Have your keeper, man. Your keeper. <laughs> He's like, he, he over there like, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got one. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, let's talk about the album. Right. Let's talk about your your music. Uh, put some music out. I did. So, where what is the bigger picture for you? Right. It's honestly it's something I've kind of been going back and forth. Um, I got my team here, kind of what I was telling you, my producer and Kev is like my A and R. We really work hard together, and we've just kind of been game planning, figuring out. You know, we have this music out have more music on the way what is the plan so i've been hearing that a lot lately like yeah. meeting with people everyone keeps asking me what is your plan and i'm just like you know trying to figure it out i'm figuring it out yeah. but it's i just i want to get my music out there yeah. so i'm really looking forward for 20 big year um new music on the way and um mostly just you'll see me probably on a lot more features okay working with a lot more local talent out here because i think mm -hmm. that's so important yeah just to kind of give you a side note i was living in vegas for the past seven months okay this year, and um i got to experience their culture there and what they bring as far as the community they really love the Together. and i would love to see that here right i feel like everyone's it's happening bit, it's yeah. starting to happen yeah, yeah, it's yeah. starting to happen a lot of great artists are connecting and networking and getting out there uh, we just actually had one artist tyrone hendrix uh that just won uh album of the year wow uh well, well let me take me back up new artist of the year uh wow. in the uk oh my gosh yeah impressive. so i mean and yeah, we, it's a whole list of uh, people yeah. that are starting to do that. Uh, so, are you you looking more? Are you looking to get signed, or you are you looking to kind of stay the independent <laughs> route? Um, my eyes aren't being signed, you know, at this point in time. You know, I'm just doing me. I'm working again with my team and just trying to figure out, you know, what it is like where um, I guess my target market is. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, I feel like I'm getting more into my sound and my niche right. of who Brie is musically. So that's dope. You'll kind of hear it in a lot of my new music coming out. And um, as far as being signed, I mean, it sounds like a great thing. Right. I, obviously, I, I think a lot of people might want to be signed. But at this point in time... It's not for everybody. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I think if the deal was right and, you know, everything I brought to the table, you know, I had... <laughs> That, I think, it, you know, maybe. I guess right, right now, it's just kind of, I'm doing my thing, and yeah. you know, I'm, I'm independent. It is what it is. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. So, are you originally uh, from Portland? Like, where are you born and raised? Yeah, so, well, I was raised here. Uh, I was born in Torrance, L.A. <laughs> Cali! So, <laughs> Cali, I'm a Cali girl, but I'm a, I'm a Portland girl now. Okay. I, I moved here when I was about six, so okay. I've been here most of my life. All right. You like me too. Like I, I, I was raised in California, and uh, but I'm I'm an Oregonian now. I've been here right. since '88, so I'm I'm full Oregonian. I've lived here longer than I lived in Los Angeles, so yeah. So I I, I claim it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Portland, PDX, Rose City. <laughs> For sure. So, well, if if people want to continue to follow you and 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 just your journey, how can they connect with you in so, terms of like social media and yeah. things like that? Yeah, I'm mostly active. I'd say on Instagram. You know, my name is Brianna Piedra. <laughs> Brianna Piedra on Instagram. Um, my music's everywhere, so you can stream it on you know Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes. All of that jazz. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say mostly. I have a Facebook page that I've okay. been working on now. So okay. under the same thing, Bri is an artist, name, so I'm like pushing that. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys should definitely follow her, and I want to thank you for coming in once again and um, just sharing a little bit about yourself and. Uh, Hopefully, people will continue to connect with you, follow your journey. We're going to have to have you back yeah. as you, your journey continues to get broader right. and reach more people. <laughs> I definitely want to have you back and, and check in and see how everything's going. I would love that. I love right. being here. Thank you again for being You're here. very welcome. Yes. Um, DJ OG1, got Bree here. We about to head to the X-Ray studio and get it in on the Groove Theory Mix Show. So, until next time... Make sure that y'all take care of each other. Stay safe out there. And if you like the content that is being presented right now, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe right now on YouTube. Y'all. <laughs>